My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. The releases yesterday went pretty good, however I didn't get any easy 350. able to scoop up a supreme box logo tomorrow we have the fear of god ones oh i got one yeah got another one i'm ready to be surprised by what's in every single one we're gonna do the unboxing on the next episode first up new balance casablanca in a size 11 and a half Easy slides in the desert colorway. This is the Easy Supply exclusive one, so size seven and size five. Got some more Supreme Oreos. Court purples in a size five Y. Easy Cinders in the size seven and a half. Prices on these have been going up recently. In fact, I sold one just a few hours ago on eBay. Here is how much money I made. Not too bad. Another Jordan One Court purple. This time in a size eight and a half. The weird thing about this is that I never actually got an order confirmation for this. So to be honest, did not expect this to come in. And the box from Nike. I don't remember ordering anything from Nike, so it's gonna be a surprise. Wait a minute. I got these on Nike? What are you talking about? I am so confused and happy at the same time because I definitely don't remember ordering these. Did you cop? No, I didn't cop. I didn't cop either. Finding the results, whether or not you got a W or an L on a Nike bot can sometimes be very tricky. Sometimes it just doesn't tell you. I'm assuming that's what happened. Oh, I don't remember, but my third pair of Doc Camos Air Max 90s Interesting. Two more Supreme Motion logo beanies. Size eight and a half. Ah, oh, yes. Oh man, I've been wanting these for so long. I am so happy I got these in my size for retail price. There was actually one more package that I forgot about and this is so important. Yes, Supreme, that's upside down. Supreme Motion logo hoodie in a size extra large. I wanna give you guys an update on the shoes that I sent over to Stadium Goods a couple of episodes ago. So all of my shoes got accepted except for one. That one shoe had a messed up box, but I did specify it in the listing when I initially first submitted the ticket. So I would assume that if a box is damaged, all they're gonna do is specify it on their website like they normally do. But I'm not sure what happened. The only information that I got is that the shoe has been rejected and now I don't know what's gonna happen to those pair of shoes. They didn't say whether or not I'm gonna get it back. They didn't say whether or not they're gonna list it or nothing. I didn't get any information at all. All it says is rejected. So now that pair of shoes is stuck in limbo. I'm gonna try to ask around to see what will end up happening to that shoe or if anybody had any similar situations, but I've got a weird, feeling that this is gonna be a several month long ordeal or at least several week long ordeal where it will take a while for me to get my shoes back. I really hope I'm wrong about that, but that's what I have a feeling about. On a better note, today is a day I will be trying on my new pair of personals, so let's see how these look on feet. You like my shoes? Yeah, they look good, right? Can't wait to wear them outside, to be honest. So, I don't know when that will be. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Gotta ship out some orders from eBay soon. So, yeah.
Literally as soon as I hit 10, I got out of stock. Yay, got one. All right, so I was able to scoop up a bunch of those mids from foot sites. Next up, we have Supreme. They got the box logo, not really a box logo item. And we also got denim jackets that are gonna be dropping. Those are the two items that I'm going to be going for. Hopefully we get something. I do not have very high expectations for this drop just because historically I'm not very good with Supreme. So I'm still trying to improve, but let's see what ends up happening. Let's see what I end up copying. It dropped, it dropped, it dropped. It's gone like three seconds. Got one. Nice. Oh, I hit one on Melox. Hit one on Mango. That Supreme release went pretty well. We scooped up two cutout logo crewnecks, Mech, which has been the most reliable and consistent bot for the past few seasons. They absolutely flop. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of their worst releases. I believe they had zero checkouts for the initial drop, which is really embarrassing, but everybody gave them a pass because they have been super duper consistent and I do believe they will continue to be consistent because they have such a good team. Meanwhile, Velox absolutely feasted. Velox and Kodai were the main bots that absolutely took stock. Unfortunately, I didn't run Kodai. If I really had to pick between Mech and Kodai as far as Supreme, I would pick Mech. So what I ended up doing was putting in most of my billing profiles towards Mech and that's why I really didn't get that many. Velox was kind of considered to be my secondary backup bot, and that was the one that ended up hitting like crazy. I got one on Mango. Mango is also very consistent when it comes to Supreme and when Supreme has their anti-bot up because Mango is basically like an automatic manual. Anyways, we do have two packages. I'm not sure what's in this one. According to the shipping address, it's from Yeezy Supply but I don't remember ordering anything from there. It would be dope if it was another but I doubt it, but we'll see what's inside. What is this? Easy 350? I did not order a Easy 350 recently. Wow, bro. These guys are so freaking late. Easy 350 Desert Sage in a size six and a half. How many episodes ago was this when I copped it? Of course, they would send me the bricks. Next up, we have the Fear of Gods. And I don't know, look at the size of this box, dude. It's bigger than me. Finding a storage spot for this is gonna be a little bit inconvenient and unconventional. But holy crap, bro, this is heavy as shit. I cannot carry it. No, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. Here we have it. Size eight, Fear of Gods, triple black. This is my very first Fear of God one air, whatever this is called. We have like a bag. I'm assuming these are lace locks. Damn, not bad. This is really cool. Really, really cool looking. So I think you get two sets of lace locks and a hang tag. So here's the hang tag. So you get two of each color, like one in a pinkish and one black. Yeah, that's it. So I made a few more online sales, so I'm really happy about those.
This video is sponsored by Only FNF, one of the premium cook groups that I personally use and some of the things that separate them from other groups in my opinion is their active voice chat community, incredible one-on-one -on -one training, the mature community that they have, and an impressive list of features. They will be restocking on May 10th at 3pm EST so if you don't have a group yet, go ahead and check them out. I'll see you there. And I do want to give you an update about the Supreme Box logo t-shirt. So a lot of people got canceled and it's been a while since I got the checkout. However, I didn't get a cancel email, but I didn't get a shipping email either. And a lot of people got their shipping emails in already. I didn't get one, but we do have a package here. This might be the BOGO but I'm not sure. If it's not, I'll be really disappointed, but we're going to find out what's inside this package. If this is not it, I'm gonna be so upset, okay? The moment of truth. Ooh, let's go! This is it, baby! Yes! Holy sh... Dude, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, no shipping confirmation, no cancel email. They just sent it and I'm so happy about that. I know this is an item that some people had considered selling right away, but this is such a hype collab and I have such an appreciation for this collab. I kind of want to hold on to it just to have it, you know, like a collector's item, but would kind of also be treated as inventory, letting it go at the right time would be ideal. If I do hold on to this, this is gonna be like a several year long hold. Some people would ask, would I wear it on my body? And the answer is no, simply because of the fact that yes, it's an art piece, it's a hyped up collab, but at the end of the day, this is a cotton t-shirt. In my opinion, it is not worth letting go of over $500 in exchange for having a cool t-shirt. You know, that's just my personal opinion. All right, let's get to the boxes. Here we have Jordan 1 mid size 9 and size 8.5. Whoa, that's a sick color. Holy crap. I'm gonna be honest, leather quality could be better, but you know, I'm not gonna complain too much. It's a beautiful shoe. Two of them came in so far. I do believe I have two more on the way. From what I've been hearing, they are going to be releasing more of these, but I'm not really 100% sure but I'm probably just gonna let go of these mids right away. And I can use that money to secure myself some Jordan 1s. Those are gonna be coming out this week. Very excited for that. And I promise this time I will not stop my tasks early. I will try to get as many pairs as possible. Well, for the ones that are profitable. We'll see how I end up doing on the next episode. 